So here we're at Burnside, the infamous DIY spot built in 1990, 25, 26 years. This is the DIY spot that pretty much kicked off the modern day skate park movement. Um, here's the ball that was redone this year, I think. Um, big sign stating the rules, free. Um, go search online for the documentary about it, get more info, but this is kind of like a spiritual homage tr transition. I would recommend taking this spot, if you've never been here before, taking it real slow. There's a bowl in the back here, and another little pocket here, and then they're building this monstrosity next to it. I've been here a few times, 1994, then 2001, and then uh, a couple years ago, so like 14. And uh, this whole thing here is new. Parking is really tight around here this morning because there's a lot more activity going on down here now. I don't know what this means for park, but um, let's skate around a little bit. It's really early here in Portland. I'm not awake, but I'm here with Beach and Isaac and Dylan. We're checking out Portland Skate Parks today. But uh, there's all sorts of little pockets. Mellow to insane to really insane. Um, you know, this is a legendary spot. Everybody that is involved someone skateboarding has probably heard of this. And uh, it's fun, but formidable. And uh, what kind of coping that is. It's really nice. Uh, made for skateboarding for coping. But uh, yeah, this spot is super fun. Skateboards only. I don't think there's any bathrooms around it, but there's uh, uh, parking looks a little scarce, but it's Portland, so there's tons of places to eat around here. I don't know what else to say about this, except just maybe you should just turn the sound off and just look at the video and ignore me talking. Uh, yeah, Burnside. This is the place. Just be careful skating here. <laughs>